Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be a new chopping block video. I'm bringing back the chopping block series and I'm excited. I just have six products that I'm gonna be talking about that I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know if I should keep them. I don't know if I should declutter them, but my declutter series has kicked off. We started with foundations last week, so I'll link that playlist down below. And now we're doing chopping blocks, so let's get started. All right, welcome. Welcome. Uh, starting off with the Vegas OOTD to blow you away with my outfit. Mismatched grays, you know, like what do you do? I just finished filming the last video that went up, which was on the Alta 21 Days of Beauty. And I just had on these gray shorts and a different sweater, but since it's YouTube and I have to pretend like it's a whole new day, um, I, I put a different sweater on. So that's what I did. So this sweater is from Express. It was just featured in my last Express haul, but I'm just trying to be comfy casual. I mentioned in Friday's video the day prior to when I'm filming, I was just doing a little bit of like light traveling for work, if you will. And I'm just kind of tired today and I'm trying to catch up, but had some videos to film, needed to get it done. So that is why we were just cash. I'll link my makeup down below. It's very simple. Hair's getting a little crazy. It is after seven o'clock. So if we start to see some shadows, that is why. But this should be a quick video, so yeah. Let me show you the products. I'm gonna leave my surprises till the end. I feel like I was really boring in my Alta video. I don't know, it was just like kind of a boring sale in a way. So I feel like I need to do something to keep your interest longer. So we're gonna keep the more surprising products till the end. But first up, I have this product from Patrick Ta. This is the She So LA. I just really never lost my mind over this product. And it's so interesting because when the, these are blushes, um, these are the blush duos, and then there's a cream blush and then a powder blush. I also purchased his contour bronzer duo. She's sculpted. I believe this is the one that I got, and it looks really similar because this is, you know, these are blushes, but they're more, you know, they're more like tan blushes, if you will. It kind of looks like bronzers. Like, they're similar, but I love She Sculpted so much more. I like the cream product more. I like the powder product more. Like, I reach for that one so often. And this one, I'm just kind of like, meh. But I feel like I should give it another chance. And why I'm putting in the chopping block is, I feel like I should give it another chance because I like She Sculpted so much. And I'm like, maybe it's just because my preferences have changed recently. You know, I've gotten more into cream products. Then I'm like, I think I just need to give it a solid second chance and decide, do I want to keep it around? Do I feel like it's necessary to keep around if I also have She Sculpt It? I'm not really sure, but like, I wanted to love this product because I feel like so many people did, but maybe giving it a second chance will change my mind. Alrighty, a concealer. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. Char Char, don't get mad at me. But this is, it doesn't say the name. Charlotte does that to so many of her products. I can't keep filling out, you know, um, like the customer complaint cards or like the suggestion box cards. Like I keep filling it out like Charlotte. You gotta put the names on the products, but this is like the Magic Vanish Concealer or something like that. This is the shade Fair. It is super, super light. What I like this concealer for is I feel like it really cancels our, can, cancels our? Can, cancels our what? Our, our, our birthday parties? Yes, they're all canceled again. It really cancels out like dark circles, like um, any sort of darkness on your under eyes I'm, I'm i'm on the decline today guys i got a i got a bag of cheetos next to me okay like we're clearly we are on the decline so i like that it cancels that out and kind of brightens everything up i really only use it in those areas that i need it though i don't use it as concealer fully around my under eyes because it is too light of a shade on me but i like it for that but at the same time, I don't really reach into it a lot because there's other concealers that I feel like do both. Like they're good at canceling out darkness, yet I can still use them around my entire under eye, so it's just easier to use one product. So I'm like, do I really need to keep keeping this around? I'm not sure, but I haven't used it in a while. So it was one that I've said that I haven't fully unpacked all of my makeup since I moved from Iowa to Vegas. And I all of these products, right? Yeah, all of these products except for one, was still in the original moving boxes. So, you know, that kind of definitely helped me know where to look for when I was preparing to do this video. And I have a lip product that like every time I do a lipstick declutter, I'm like, I don't know if I should keep this one because I don't really wear it a lot. And then I keep it and then I never wear it. And I'm like, okay, Samantha, so do you think it's time to get rid of it? And I almost didn't include it because I was like, oh, I'll just declutter it then. Like, I know that I haven't worn it since I moved. Like, and it was like the peak time that I would wear this this particular shade of lipstick. 
and I still didn't do it. But then I was like, well, maybe I'm like, okay, I'm just putting it in the chopping block and we're going to make a decision together because this is getting ridiculous. So this is a lipstick from Givenchy. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know exactly what it is. And it's their Mandarin Bolero lipstick. It's this beautiful bright orange. Like I feel like it would look really pretty with the makeup look I have on today. Something super basic. I just have a ColourPop Super Shock on with some mascara. Very simple complexion based makeup going on. Um, and then like a bright lip, you know, gives that pop. But I usually wear it during the warmer months and the summer months. I feel like it's, you know, usually in the fall we go a little bit darker. But again, I haven't pulled it out one time, nor have I really worn bright lipstick like at all in a very long time. So I'm like, why do I still keep keeping this? But then there's another part of me that's like, I'm still going to keep keeping this. Because I got issues. And then I have a pigment from ColourPop. So this was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and this one is the Archer. So I bought the Scales, which is a light pink, and then also the Aries, which is an orange with a bunch of gold glitter in it. It's so beautiful. I would say the Archer was the one that I liked the least. I got it because it was purple, and I like purple with green eyes. But it's almost like the other two I felt like were more just easier to apply this one i feel like could kind of get a little little muddy a little messy on my eyes so i just really don't reach for it all that much these were limited edition though so you can't get this one anymore so i'm like do i want to give it up because it's different in my collection but then it's like well i have two other ones but then i'm not sure like i'm I don't know. I'm not sure. I feel like I need to try it a couple more times and see, like, did I get any better at the application or if, am I still having those issues? All right. And then for the surprises, when I saw this product, those areas, if you just heard her sigh, when I saw this product, I was going through all of my bins. This one really stuck out at me and I was like, you know, you know, <laughs> This is from Too Faced, and this is the Natural Face Palette. I really, really like this palette. I do. I've recommended it a lot. I thought it was such a good one. I'm just really, I mean, haven't used it in over four months since it was still in the movie boxes. I'm just not reaching for stuff like this right now, and I'm reaching for a lot of cream products, liquid products. I'm just not going into a six-pan powder face palette right now. I'll say that five times fast. Like, I'm just not. And really, when I think about it, I liked the bronzers and the blushes out of here. The highlights weren't my favorite, but I always kept it because I thought it was so beautiful. And the like the Tropic Like It's Hot, beautiful Sunny Honey, mix those two together, beautiful pink sand, beautiful blush. So I'm like, do I want to give it up? I don't know. Like I just I don't know. So I need to pull it out. And you know, another thing with the chopping block is I'm kind of it's kind of like a shot my sash too at the same time because I'm pulling these products out. I need to try them. And I need to make a decision. Because I feel like I could pass that on to someone and they would really like it. And I don't want to just like collecting dust here, but I don't, we'll see. And then the last one, I feel like this one is like kind of funny, but go with me. Let me just tell you, it's from CoverGirl. <laughs> it's the Healthy Vitalist Powder. I feel like in a way I think it's funny because I'm like, I should probably just throw this away. There's a gigantic pan in it. It's probably expired, like quite honestly, because I've had it for a while. But... I used to love this powder, y'all. Like, we all know who dethroned it. We know. Something called the Dior Powder No Powder. We know. And the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, Flawless Filter. Like, that's such a good one, too. The number seven. That one's such a good one. I just have not been reaching for my cover girl pretty much just like since I moved here. I think this was what I had out with me like in my travel makeup bag because I drove from Iowa to Vegas. So I just had a very small makeup bag and I think this cover girl was what I put in it. But since I moved here, that's when I bought the Dior powder and that's just what I use now every day. So this one has been untouched and it's like, okay, Samantha, is it time to say goodbye? But it's like losing an old friend. I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye. And I just haven't used it in so long. I'm like, I just need to use it. I just need to use it and try it again and see what I'm thinking. And maybe I'll be like, you know what? No, we're, we're just better off as long distance friends. We don't have to be in a committed relationship. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what metaphor I'm trying to say there, okay? But I don't know. I just was thinking maybe that would surprise some of you to see the cover girl in here. But it's funny because it's, it's been pulled out. It sits on my desk. And I, I truly, I look at it every day. And then I look at the Dior, <laughs> so it's like, ah, I don't know. We shall see. Those are the, I think that was six products, the six products that is on my chopping block, the six products that I'm going to be trying out. Um, I'm going to try to do this series consistently. I, I failed last time, but in my defense, I was also about to move. So, you know, there's that. Um, 
but I'm gonna try to do it a little bit more consistently and try to get through some of these products and decide, you know, what I wanna keep and maybe try to use some of them up like this cover girl, like try to use some more in there. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully it was like a short and sweet video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the products that I pulled out um, to be on my shopping block. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.